advance notice there. I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you asked about just to share the testimony of the forklift. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Um, what's your uh, I Seven months ago, my son and I, we opened up a floor covering shop. So I had five of them in the past. And so we bought this building in Anderson. Uh, bought a warehouse and a retail spot, and we opened up a uh, carpet store, hardwood, all that kind of stuff. So long story short, went to Las Vegas, bought a truckload of inventory, and assumed that my warehouse and my forklift and everything was all going to fit, and we, I realized when we got our forklift into the warehouse that while well, it's holding a roll of carpet, you can't actually drive the lift in and get the roll on the rack and get the lift out, you're actually, the math doesn't work out and we never even thought that this wouldn't work, right? So I'm two days away, I have a truck loaded with carpet on its way to Anderson and I, so I start searching online and it turns out there's only one forklift that's made that will actually fit my predicament, okay? And here I am ready. And in the whole of the states. There's only one that's actually the right size. One brand, one model, there's only one with the right weight. And so this is literally like the needle in the haystack. And I'm searching all over the internet, trying to see if I can get one here quick enough. Now the truck's literally 10 hours away. We're thinking we're going to have to drop all this carpet in our parking lot, put tarps on it. We can't, we won't be able to get our forklift out of the store if we drive in there with a roll. And so we got this big problem. So on a, it was a Wednesday night, just before I went to bed, I just went into the living room and just said, Lord, I need this forklift and I need it really fast and I can't find it. Please help. I mean, that was like the prayer. You know what I need. So the next morning, I'm having coffee on my iPad and I'm looking through uh, forklift repair anybody. Well, there's a forklift repair guy named Aaron Golian Anderson, and he's just a repair guy. So I call this number the next morning and said, hey, would you happen to have this particular model, this particular brand, it has to have this, it can only be this long. And he said, well, I don't know, let me, let me look around. Okay, so now it's, this is actually the day of the delivery. The truck yeah, shows sorry, up. How do you feel? Like, you're like, this. <laughs> <laughs> it's business, you know. We're going to have all those rolls, and somehow it's going to work out. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. But I kid you not, the truck comes pulling up. Now, my son's with me, and I'm telling him, he's like, Dad, what are we going to do with all these rolls? I'm like, the Lord's going to work it out. Just trust me, this thing's going to work out. This semi truck comes pulling up, backs up to our warehouse, and he rolls open the door, and we're standing there with no lift. <laughs> Believing God. <laughs> and around the corner comes this forklift repair guy <laughs> with the forklift on his trailer. And he pulls up along the side of the He would have thought this whole thing was totally planned out. <laughs> It was. He pulls up alongside the truck, backs the forklift off, it's the exact model, the exact size, and says, here, give it a try, see if it works for you. I gotta take off. <laughs> 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 